Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben Parks, 225 marathoner and ultra runner. And what I wanted to talk to you today about was well, kind of about me, really. We've had a lot of new subscribers to the channel recently. So welcome one and all the people that have been here right from the start and all of you new guys and girls out there follow along on the running journey. So yeah, I've got a few little things about my life and about my story and how I got into running and sort of plans for the future and everything. And also a little sort of little summary thing of five top tips that I've got and sort of mantras that I instill in all of my running and they're coming up at the end. So in present day, I live in Greenwich, which is where I am at the moment in London. I've lived here for about the past four or five years. But dialing back to my early days uh, when I was in school and things, I really did very little running at all. I did a little bit of cross country um, and that was nothing serious. It was just taking part in sort of the yearly cross country run at school. I played various different sports, a bit of cricket, a bit of football, a bit of hockey and rugby as well. Um, and my sort of the main sport I played when I was growing up was golf. So I set about training, running around like a headless chicken. I had no idea what I was doing. There wasn't really anything like YouTube or any sort of books and things that I really knew how to get access to. So I just trained as sensibly as I thought I was doing. Really had no idea, but managed to complete the race in four hours and three minutes, which it wasn't too bad for an 18 year old. So I kind of thought there's a little bit of potential there. So pretty much throughout my 20s, I just tried to run one marathon a year, which was just a sort of a dedicated training block, and that would be it for the rest of the year. I'd do the marathon and then take the sort of rest sort of nine months off and concentrate on the golf that I was playing at the time. Had a golf scholarship at university and traveled around the country trying to become a golf professional, but that was never really going to work out in the long term. I just didn't have quite enough natural talent at the sport to become a pro. So all throughout my 20s was pretty much sort of university, early days, living in London, drinking and living a pretty unhealthy life with an occasional little bout of running mixed in. And I think I did about, about eight or nine marathons through my 20s, all in around that sort of 3.30 to four hour period. But there was never really any sort of proper training and there wasn't real sort of a love for it. I just kind of enjoyed doing these things as a bit of a challenge, a bit of, to get out and see the world. But yeah, throughout my 20s, really not the most healthy part of my life. I didn't have any problems with sort of alcohol or anything like that. But yeah, there was a little bit of excess, a little bit of partying and going out till the early hours, probably to excess a little bit. So come my 30s, actually we'll leave it there. We'll head out on a run now. And yeah, I'll chat about my newer life once I hit 30. Right guys, let's talk about the fun stuff and getting a little bit quicker at running. So that kind of all started in my sort of early 30s. I was about 31, 32. I just wanted to become good at something. I'd always been pretty average at most of sport, the sports that I tried. And yeah, we're just never really getting anywhere and was in a pretty dead end job and stuff at the time. And yeah, just set on this improvement journey. So logged on to Amazon one night, bought every book I could find on running discovered YouTube through running, looking at videos, tutorials, and just immerse my stuff in how to get better, how to improve and start that journey. And yeah, it didn't take long. I had some pretty decent early successes um, entering some races. And then my times were coming down. I think I ran about 3.18, which was a massive PB at the time. And I really sort of saw the potential in learning as much as I can and getting a lot better. And I just carried on learning more, trying more, playing with my diet, playing with my training. And then that day happened, Edinburgh 2016, 2.55. Just amazing day. And that journey just carried on, just chipping away, chipping away, getting a little bit better. Uh, then we ran 2.44. We were on championship at London Marathon. And it was at that point I really thought I've learned a lot here and I've really improved. And there's some good information out there, most of it from America. So I thought I'd set up the Instagram page and try and help people out in the UK around London. And that's why I set it up, just to put information out there. So much of Instagram is all like, me, 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 look at me, look at all. But I just set that up just to put tutorials, tips and advice with how to, I was improving my running. And I really feel people seem to sort of connect with it in that way. And that's why I started YouTube as well. 
I just try and help people as much as I can. I love helping people. So yeah, we ran that championship time, that 2.44, and then I really had to sort of take a point in life of where are we gonna go? We carry on in this job, we carry on with running. And so I registered um, all the sort of early courses to become an athletics coach. And also went out to visit um, Harry Jones and Sage Canada out in Thailand on this sort of course they were running. And just, you spend five minutes with those guys, really sort of fall in love with their ethos and their sort of culture and everything they're doing. It's just an amazing time spend, getting to spend time with them. And from then on, the sort of, the seed was set that I had to, had to change my life massively. And that coincided as well with meeting Sarah. And you meet like a cracking girl like that, really kind of inspires you to get on and do things. So yeah, I had a bit of an awkward conversation with my job at the time, packed in a fairly decent sort of company car, good package, good, good job and everything, but I just needed to see how far I could take myself, how far we can pursue this and sort of live that dream and give it a few years. So yeah, Instagram was growing, YouTube was just kind of getting going and it was just all about trying to live that dream. So the training carried on and then set about trying to break two and a half hours for the marathon. Or is that going to be possible? Really put a, put a lot of stuff out there about it. And I think once I then ran that 225 in Valencia, that's when it kind of all really sort of kicked off. And it was amazing, you know, these last few years have been really good. Yeah, I don't earn very much money. I couldn't really care less. Do you want to sign in? and I love to give, get by. I love helping people, I'm coaching people, hearing all of your stories and how you're improving and just trying to put some positive stuff out there in the world. It makes me so, so happy and love with where my life is right now. And yeah, we're gonna be carrying on this journey to Berlin this year and I don't know what the goal's gonna be. Dare to dream under 220, dare to dream. We're just kind of thinking about PBs and stuff at the moment. But I love having you guys along for the ride. It really is amazing out there. Of course, I've really turned my life around for the best and love it now. Right guys, there's li little sort of a life story as such. And now I've got six little sort of mantras and things that I really try and get into all my training. So number one on that list is gonna be, I taught myself how to run easy sort of that sort of conversational nice relaxed zone two heart rate training for a lot of people in that sort of about 135 to 150 beats a minute now i also say i will have videos on all of this sort of stuff coming up this is just a little quick sort of summary of things and then yeah we'll have videos in future episodes and number two is going to be i i really sort of emphasize doing little and often sort of strength training um, sort of stretching and sort of yoga as well. It's really become a big part of my life and I think that's a real sort of key reason for how I'm able to keep mainly sort of injury free and put in some of the big mileage, mileage weeks that I do. So yeah, that sort of little and often type mentality. Don't go out and do big sessions, just every now and then, just drop those things in as I go through about daily life. And number three is I've spent a lot of time learning how to run. Um, I know that sounds a bit silly. I started out looking at chi running and sort of the pose method running. And now I'm sort of speaking to a guy called Shane Benzie, who's a sort of a movement coach. And I really believe in everything that goes out there needs to sort of have a few basic lessons in how to run, how to move across the ground as efficiently as possible. Is that gonna be the key thing for preventing you getting injured? If you've got bad running form, you know, injuries are going to happen. So really sort of concentrate on working on my form and sort of doing drills and that sort of thing all the time. Number four is gonna be listening to my body. Now before, when I sort of started out running, I would just sort of run all the time and I wouldn't listen to how I was feeling. If I had aches and pains, I'd still just get out the door and that led to injuries. And you hear this sort of phrase of listen to your body, but I think it's so important if you're feeling tired, you're feeling fatigued, don't be afraid to take a rest day. In my sort of training, I take rest days when I feel tired. I don't sort of necessarily plan them in um, that far in advance, but I listen to how things are going, how my sort of performance and how my heart rate data and everything that's showing 
bank and then sort of you know plan the rest in from there and equally if i'm feeling pretty good then i'll tune things up and sort of get a more of a hard sort of key workout session in there number five is going to be sort of my sort of youtube hero as a lot of people's is is sage canaday and his philosophy of any surface any distance i don't train out there to be sort of amazingly good on the roads or amazingly on the trails i just try and run a little bit on roads and trails and have fun i just want to have fun i want to enjoy my training i want to run on all different surfaces and all different distances yes of course i sort of really get my training down for sort of that key sort of 13 14 weeks of the year when i'll be dedicated to training for as this year will be the berlin marathon but for a lot of the rest of the time just having fun out there in nature and just have that any surface any distance mentality and finally number six which is going to be finding a solution that works for you now we're bombarded with so much information out there in 2019 everyone's got an opinion and only their opinion is right i'm always a big believer in just reading as much as you can from all different sources and building that together try different things out try different diets and just try a lot of different stuff and eventually you'll find a pattern of things that work that work for you i don't have all the answers to everything but i like sort of through the channel um sort of talking about everything that works for me and i really like the feedback that you guys give me about when i'm right and when i'm wrong equally as well so there we have it guys that's a little summary of my life and everything that we've got coming up if you're new to the channel really appreciate all the new subscribers that have come on recently and yeah it's great to build this community i'm going to be filming a lot more videos coming up in the next few weeks um, lots of content and we've got some hill repeats videos and some intervals videos so how you can improve your training and i love sharing the experience with you if you've got any questions and things you want to know about me and my life or about any aspect of training then let me know down in the comments and i will see you down there and we can have a chat about all aspects of running which is the best thing in the world of course and as always guys if you haven't got your hats yet then check the links down below and there's a code there for all of the youtube subscribers so as usual guys please like share and just let me know how your running's doing and of course i'll see you in the next one